while fans are eagerly anticipating Black Panther. Wakanda Forever, the next Marvel Cinematic Universe release is actually the Disney Plus special Werewolf by Night, out today, which has been getting glowing reviews and is being called the best Disney Plus MCU project. The special delves into horror and has the writer of WandaVision behind it. It also has celebrated composer Michael Giacchino scoring it, who also interestingly serves as director. All signs point to Werewolf by Night being incredible, but it wasn't without its trials and tribulations. Between being stuck in development hell for decades and Giacchino finding directing challenging, the reception of the special could have gone either way. Werewolf by Night had been in development hell since 2002 few movies have escaped development hell, but Werewolf by Night will join those few lucky projects. Development for a Werewolf by Night movie started over 20 years ago, long before the Marvel Cinematic Universe was even a thing. In fact, MCU super producer Kevin Feige was even serving as a producer back then too, and was trying to desperately get it off the ground. According to COMIC2 film, Feige and other producers had hired screenwriter Hans Rodionoff, who had only ever written TV movies at the time, to pen the script. The property has been in and out of development several times since then, and it's now finally getting the adaptation it deserves. Kevin Feige's response to the Werewolf by Night pitch, the MCU project first came to fruition when Feige simply asked Yukino which Marvel characters the composer was most interested in. And to Feige's surprise, Yukino responded with Werewolf by Night. Yukino recalls the conversation, noting, he looked at me like, really? Like really? Werewolf him like, yeah, that's what I want. He was like, wow. Okay, alright. Let's talk about that. And the conversation just kept going, and going, and going, and then, and here we are now. In a universe where Iron Man, Captain America, and so many other iconic superheroes exist, Werewolf is certainly a left-field choice, but it's also one of the most unique concepts in the universe, so it's unsurprising that someone as creative as Yukino could be attracted to it. Marvel was supportive of Werewolf by Night's bloodier action in what comes as a huge surprise, given that Marvel Studios and Disney Plus are so averse to graphic violence in their movies, Giacchino explained that the studio was actually very supportive of the bloody direction he wanted to take the special in. The director detailed the very productive shoot, noting, they were always very supportive and just allowed me to keep pushing forward because so many of my comments during reviews and things would be like, can we put more blood on that? Can we add more? In fairness, it is like the studio had a choice, as it'd be hard to faithfully adapt Werewolf by Night without the gore, and it would have certainly left hardcore fans disappointed. But it seems like Marvel Studios has taken its biggest risk yet with the upcoming Disney Plus special. Black and White helped Werewolf by Night's TV 14 rating while there are tons of great R-rated superhero movies, especially since Deadpool proved that they could be so financially successful, there has yet to be an R-rated MCU movie. And outside of Deadpool 3, it'll likely never happen. However, Giacchino claims it has come close, as, according to The Hollywood Reporter, he was convinced that the special was going to be rated TV Ma, the television equivalent of R. The composer turned director mentioned, we had always assumed it would be TV Ma, but I wasn't always involved with what was happening on that end in terms of ratings and all of that. The director added that he believes that the black and white cinematography helped the special achieve its TV-14 rating, as the blood is so darkly lit. Michael Giacchino composed Werewolf by Night at the same time he edited it if Giacchino's name sounds familiar, it's because he has been attached to so many huge movies, but not for directing. The filmmaker is a composer first and foremost, and his most famous works are scores for The Batman, several Pikesir films, and a ton of MCU releases. And has something of an auteur as he scored Werewolf by Night as well as directed it. According to the same Hollywood Reporter interview, the filmmaker composed music for the special at the exact same time he edited it. 
while working with editors in one room, head suddenly be influenced to write a piece of music, which head record in the room next door. Giacchino explained, as he was cutting a scene, I would go, wait, I have an idea, and I would run into the other room to write a piece of music. And then I'd bring it back in and we'd put it up against picture. Michael Giacchino was influenced by directors whose films he scored having worked on the music for so many massive Hollywood movies, Giacchino has spent time with some of the most accomplished filmmakers working today, and he hasn't taken that for granted. Again speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, the director didn't hold back from expressing how influenced he was by the likes of Jay. Jay Abrams, Matt Reeves, and Brad Bird while shooting the horror special. Giacchino gushed, I loved watching them work, but in doing that, I did learn a lot over the years. It was like getting a masterclass from really amazing directors. But the director also expressed that it was a blessing and a curse, as it led to him questioning every decision he made. Poltergeist was Michael Giacchino's biggest horror influence, being such a different movie in the MCU, it's no surprise that Giacchino was influenced by movies that would never have been uttered by other Marvel directors. The Werewolf by Night director noted that the special's biggest influence was the terrifying 1982 movie Poltergeist. Giacchino explained, I'm not a person that loves slasher movies, I don't love just randomized killings of people, that is not my thing. But if it's done in a way that is stylistic, that is sort of fun, then I'm all on board. That's why I love Poltergeist so much. Even Sam Raimi, who is known for his comedy horror, which was implemented in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, would think that Poltergeist is way too dark for a superhero-adjacent Disney Plus special. Producer Byron intends on Werewolf by Night setting up a bigger narrative now that the next three phases of the MCU are officially called the Multiverse Saga, fans have theorized what cameos could happen in each consecutive release. It has gotten to the point where fans are setting themselves up for disappointment time after time. Mephisto didn't turn up in WandaVision, Ghost Rider didn't feature in Doctor Strange 2, and Moon Knight won't be anywhere to be seen in Werewolf by Night. However, those not mean the film isn't setting up a much bigger narrative. According to producer Brian Gay, the special is simply opening the door to a grander narrative about monsters in the MCU. The producer commented, the idea is that, with this wide swath of different species and types, they're going to pop up again. Yeah we're going to see these guys in different ways. Disney Plus originally categorized Werewolf by Night as a comedy anyone who has read the Werewolf by Night trailer or read the comic books knows that the project is no comedy. And while the MCU has been becoming more comedy focused with the likes of Thor, Love and Thunder and She-Hulk. Attorney at Law, critics of that direction will surely be relieved by the special's much darker tone. However, that still didn't stop Werewolf by Night from being categorized as a comedy on Disney+. It has been since changed to being in the horror category, but fans can't help but wonder why it happened in the first place. It could be that the trailer is hiding some comedy elements, or it could be that it was simply a force of habit following all the recent releases that are full on comedies. Werewolf by Night's production was challenging according to comicbook.com, the director seemingly pessimistically mentioned it's an incredibly challenging process. However, in what is something of an oxymoron, Giacchino added, there's not much I can't say other than him having a good time, and I am working on something that I love. So, that's a win-win right there. It seems like the challenge paid off, as Werewolf by Night has been getting rave reviews. And it could mark the first of many MCU directorial efforts for Giacchino. Marvel Studios always recognizes talent, as Matt Shackman was offered to direct Fantastic Four, based on how WandaVision turned out, so fans could see the compasser directing a much bigger project in the future.
Like this tree, like this tree, bumping in.